guys real quick. I don't have my microphone uh, with me today, but obviously we're not doing a diesel repair today. As you can hear, my exhaust is real loud on this. Uh, the pipe at the catalytic converter actually fell apart. So uh, we have a whole new exhaust system. We're gonna go ahead and install that in my 99 Honda Civic Beater car. This is my vehicle. I drive back and forth for beating around in the winter time. Uh, I drive this full time in the summer just for work and whatever high mileage uh, bullshit I don't want to drive my truck with. My summer nice vehicle is a 2005 uh, Chevy Silverado. I picked up this past summer with 35,000 miles on it. I'll post up a picture of it here. Um, I bought this truck, a really rare find and really uh, kind of a lucky find on my part. So I take really good care of it and winterize it, park it for the winter uh, indoors. So uh, it's never seen winter before and in my opinion never will as long as I own it. So uh, this is kind of a project truck for me. I have a lot of future plans for it. So uh, it'll be future content for you guys to see. So today we're going to get started with this repair. I'm going to bring you guys along. car here you can see that's the front pipe up there that's the catalytic converter then you can see how this is all chicken shit welded together there's an aftermarket muffler down there on that end you can see where it fell apart so start cutting this shit out I'll show you what's going on as we go if you're wondering why I'm replacing the front pipe too you can see there how this flange is wore through on the bottom there. The flange is part of the front pipe, so this thing's really been kind of rigged together. So we're gonna fix it right. My catalytic converter should be good. We'll check the core once we get it out, make sure. But that's the only thing I'll be reusing at this point. What about my box? car here this is the bottom of this front down pipe those nuts up there uh, there's one three of them there but anyway I uh, suspected I would have to cut them off but I did throw a socket on this one see if it come off but it's just rounded off so we're gonna go ahead use this long snap-on die grinder and that small cutoff wheel and go ahead and cut these off real quick.
I just finished buffing up that surface there on the manifold. Punched those bolts that I cut off out of the holes. And now we're gonna finish tearing out the rest of this exhaust back there. All right, we got this whole system pulled out. The only thing we're gonna reuse, obviously, is this catalytic converter. I just gotta clean up, get these ends cleaned up and ready to go back together. And then we're gonna start installing. We've been working on cleaning up this catalytic converter. It's a little worse than what I realized, as you can see right here, how rusty that flange is around there. So we cleaned it up and then we have ourselves a new piece of flange here that we're going to bolt together here. And then we're gonna weld on here around the outside and around the inside in here. The reason being is uh, this catalytic converter is more expensive than what's worth putting into it. And obviously, as we've seen before, it's still a good catalytic converter. So we're just gonna repair this flange and that should do what we need it to do. this flange all welded on there basically added a whole bunch of metal just welded in a bunch thicken this up and kind of beef it up and then got everything reshaped ran a beater on the inside but yeah all right so I got this front pipe all mounted in place I have the where is it here O2 sensors in, you got it plugged in up there. Put new copper coated lock nuts and nickel anti-seize on all the bolts. And that's this part, so head on back there with the rest of it. All the exhaust piping in, all the way back to that rear wheel. And then I'm gonna set down the front of the car and I'm gonna jack up the back of the car so I can put the muffler in. But... All right, got the muffler all mounted up in place. Tailpipe's pretty centered, so time to start it up and see what it sounds like. Right, guys so I got that job done uh, I'm just cleaning up my top of my box right now and I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of background on that car um, that Honda Civic is obviously my winter beater as I explained in the beginning of the video um, I picked that up earlier this summer for a couple of grand it had 108,000 miles on it I knew after I bought my truck this summer that I was going to want that as a winter beater uh, just because I knew I wasn't going to drive my truck in the winter time. I knew it was going to need all its 100,000 mile maintenance. So I went ahead, uh, water, I did the water pump, timing belt, all the serpentine belts. And I went through the back end suspension and I did all the uh, control arms uh links and then i got an alignment done i bought winter tires and a second set of rims for it i adjusted the front end um it was a little loose up there so i just adjusted the rack and i did a little bit of rust control just a little bit of rust starting here and there on the body that i cleaned up and painted over after i got that all done i've been driving it i've put about eight or ten thousand miles on the car uh, obviously the ex exhaust went out, but I was planning on doing that in the spring anyway, so it wasn't too big of a deal uh, Just getting it done now and out of the way um, Oh, yeah, the other thing I did is I did brakes all the way around drums rotors pads the whole shebang uh, the only thing uh, I have left on my list to do is to do the park brake um, The park brake cables in the spring I had to cut both of them just because they froze up this winter I did spark plugs and wires as well um, yeah, I think that was everything I did to it. I, ch oh, I changed the transmission oil. Um, 
just because I didn't know when the last time that was done. It's a manual transmission, so just changed that gear lube. Um, yeah, I think that was everything I did to it as far as winter maintenance or as far as 100,000 mile maintenance. But, um, you know, there's a few small oil leaks, nothing too crazy. Um, uses a little bit of oil, uh, normal Honda Civic stuff, so not too worried about that. I really like Honda Civics and Toyota Corollas. Um, both are really good beater cars, but I have kind of a theory on beater cars. As far as I can see in the future, uh, at least my opinion at this point is, that I will always drive a beater car in the wintertime, being that we live in the Rust Belt. And that is due to the fact be that I see it as being such a waste of money to drive 20, 30, 40, 60, 80,000 dollar vehicles, whatever it may be, uh, in the winter time. And what do you get out of a vehicle? You know, maybe five to seven years of it being clean. Um, and that's just, I, I don't think no matter how much money I ever make or have, um, I'm ever going to be able to justify that in, in my mind of spending that kind of money on a vehicle and then just trashing it in five, five to seven years and getting a new one. Uh, to me, I am pretty particular about the vehicles I like, and I really like vehicles. I like really nice vehicles, and I like building them and having having nice aftermarket stuff. Um, but I want to take care of it, and I want it to last a long time, 15, 20 years. And that's just my mindset. I'd love to have a garage full of cars someday. So that being said, I, uh, in order to make that happen, to me, it is worth the investment of having a you know two two thousand dollar car that you might put a thousand or fifteen hundred bucks into and um driving that for three four winters at a time and getting a new one um you know whatever it might be so in this case i'd love to get another hundred hundred fifty thousand miles out of this car being that it had just over a hundred thousand when i bought it uh we'll see how that works out but um yeah that's just kind of my theory on uh beater cars and vehicles in general what i like to do for myself personally uh but i think it's a smart move financially and um i like doing things i like spending money but i like doing things right the first time uh buying quality the first time and um having it for a long time and taking really good care of it so uh, i'm not big on spending money on um short-term things or things that i'm gonna throw away um quickly I like spending money on long-term things and uh, investments, things that'll have a return on my investment. So that's just kind of a little bit of my theory and opinion. Uh, other than that, I'm just gonna clean up my box tonight and um, head home. Other than that, that's all I got for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, hit that notification bell and subscribe. Uh, I'd, I'd love to see uh, the subscribers following along and um, seeing the new content I bring out to you guys. So hope you enjoyed this episode. That's all I got for you. Christian Byer signing out.